Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our TypeScript series. So, so far in the TypeScript, what we have seen that uh, we have seen the basics of TypeScript. In the last session, we have seen that uh, what do you mean by type? What do you mean by array? What do you mean by enum? What do you mean by tuple? Right? So, today we are going to talk about one more data type that we can use it with the <coughs> variables that is called the union type. Okay. So let's create a new a file and here I'm writing that union concept dot ts. I have changed the theme with the white color. Tell me if you like it. Otherwise, we will continue with the black color theme also. <clears throat> so union means if let's see a particular variable is there and I really want to give multiple types of the same variable. Let's see a variable can be numeric also, can be string also. In that case, I can define both of them. Right. So for example, let's say I'm going to create a variable and the variable name that I'm writing that there is one user ID and this user ID can be string also and can be a numeric value. Right. So either of them, we can write it. So what you do, you simply put a bracket like this and then you write a string or and then you can write it could be a number also here like that. Right. On whatever the value that you really want to define, you can define it here. <laughs> So this user ID can be string or can be number. So with this pipe operator, or you can say a union operator, you can use it here and N number of operators you can give it. Let's see N number of types you can give it. User ID can be Boolean also, that Boolean also you can write it here. But Boolean does not make any sense to with the user ID. So let me remove it from here. So now let's see if I'm assigning the user ID is equal to let's see 1000 or 10,001. And now I'm writing the user ID could be some uh, string value that I'm writing. Let's see, Naveen automation is my user ID. Either of them, I can write it here. But if I'm writing the user ID is equal to true, it will give you the error here because we have given only two types, either a string or number. So this is called union type. Simple. So can we use this union type for the function parameters also? Of course, you can use that. So for example, let's see if I'm creating the function and then I'm saying that get user information that I really want to fetch the user information and then it's taking one user ID or it's taking let's see one uh, customer ID or something. So here I'm creating let's see you give me the customer ID and this customer ID could be in any format. So here I'm writing that again you put a bracket and then it could be a string also and then again you write a pipe and then it could be a number also right so customer id that you have to give it to me and then i'm going to give you some user information from here right or let's say i really want to print some user information here that also we can do it here so for example let's see i can write one if condition and uh, let's see i'm going to call this method from here also so let's call this method at the same time i'm calling this and now i'm passing the user id is let's see 9001 so see i'm passing a numeric value so this 9001 will be given to the customer ID. And now I'm checking that what type of customer ID that you are getting it. So which operator we have to use. So here we have to use type of, we can use it here. So I'm checking if the type of customer ID is equal to, equal to, equal to a number, right? So remember type of operator we discussed in the JavaScript also. Type of operator will tell you that what is the type of a specific variable. So if I'm passing 9001, 9001 is a numeric value or is a number will be given to this. So it will <clears throat> tell you that, okay, the type of customer ID is actually a number. If it is a number, then I'm saying that, okay, fine, that you have to return some, some number, right? Or let's see whatever that you want to return. So let's see here, I'm writing that some number 1000, okay, whatever, 9000, some information that I'm printing. And along with that, I'm printing the name also that, okay, the username is Naveen here. Write something like this. Let's see, I'm assigning it here in the form of return. <clears throat> and then again, I'm writing another else if that else if that uh, if the type of again, I'm writing if the type of what if the type of customer ID, which is equal to equal to a uh, string that in that case, I'll say that, okay, no, it's just simple. You have to return. Let's see, underscore Naveen only. Right. So simple, let's see a simple basic function that I have written. So if I'm passing 9001, 9001 will be given to this guy. And then uh, customer ID could be a string or number. 
here i'm passing that customer checking that customer id is equal to number yes this time is equal to number so return the customer id that you are passing so let's see whatever the customer id that you are giving to me and then you append with naveen or with your username let's see underscore naveen or something and then you return back so if i let's see print it on the console directly so i'm just console.log and i'm printing it so what will be the output in that case right so let's simple compile it first and then let's see so here i'm going to compile with the typescript compiler and the file name is the union concept.ts and the respective js file will be created here and uh, then i'm writing <coughs> what then i'm writing the node and the union dot js concept.js so you can say 9001 underscore naveen we are getting it here so at the same time now i'm calling this particular function with some value so let's see here i'm passing the value the customer id okay in the form of a string that i'm passing so let's see here i'm passing that automation all right so automation is let's see my customer id will be given to this guy yes it's not giving me any error at the compile time why because customer id could be string also and then i can check customer id type of customer id is number no type of customer id is a string yes so what will you return i'm returning underscore naveen from here and then underscore naveen will be printed here simple so let's see so i'll do one thing let's see whatever the customer id that you are giving to me i'm just using and appending it here that's it okay let's compile it again and uh, run it again with the node so here you can say automation underscore naveen we are getting it here simple but at the same time if i'm calling this particular function with some a uh, boolean value for example i'm passing a true it is giving me the error why because this get user information can take the customer id in the form of a string and the number only and that's it so that's why the boolean is not allowed here so this is very flexible and uh, very flexibility given is uh, uh, in the TypeScript that you can define the type sometimes, you know, your user ID, customer ID in alphanumeric form or alphabetic form or a string form or number form like this, you can pass it here. That's it. So I hope this is clear, very simple concept. If you see the corresponding JS file also in JS, it will display like that. Whatever the customer ID again is checking the customer ID equal to equal to number then return else if return with this thing right but it is more readable and then it's clearly visible that okay yes that uh, get user information you can pass either a string or number here other than that you cannot pass i hope this is clear very simple concept very small concept thank you so much